In the previous episode, I helped you identify your mission, values, vision, and strategy. It's all very well having a big vision and goals for your life, but unless you can execute them effectively, they will remain as dreams only. And when you combine great strategic thinking with excellent execution, it will put you in the very top 1% of your field. Hi, I'm James Taylor, Business Creativity Keynote Speaker, and in today's episode, we get more tactical. I describe how to plan out your year and 90 day cycles, and how my team and I use two week sprints to achieve more in less time. Now, when I was in my 30s, I worked in technology advising Silicon Valley CEOs and entrepreneurs. Perhaps the two most useful concepts I learned in Silicon Valley was the lean startup approach and agile project management. Let me explain how these slightly geeky com concepts help you to live a more creative life and achieve your goals. The lean startup methodology is used by many billion dollar companies, including Dropbox and Zappos. It revolves around the build, measure, and learn loop. So build, measure, and learn. First, you generate ideas to build a minimum viable version of your product, service, or your piece of art. Then you measure its effectiveness by gathering data. Then you learn from that information before building the next and hopefully better version. For example, whenever we launch a new online summit, we go through a pretty similar process. In month one, we generate ideas for possible new summits. We choose our best idea and then build it, conducting video interviews and creating all the various web pages for it. Then in month two, we launch a minimum viable version of the summit in order to get feedback from our target audience. This provides us with data, both quantitative numbers of registrations and qualitative the customer reviews, which we learn from and then either create an evergreen version of that summit or work on a version 2.0 of it. The reason I love the Lean Startup methodology is it fits perfectly into 90 day cycles. Let's imagine one of your strategic initiatives for the next 90 days is to launch a podcast to build your brand or generate leads for your business. In month one, you might research the market, decide on the format for your podcast and create the first five episodes. Then in month two, you'd publish those episodes, share it with people and measure the response to it. In the third month, you reflect on this data, learn what went well and what needs to be improved, decide if podcasting is for you and if you feel it still fits with your strategy, and will help you achieve your objectives, then you iterate and the process begins again. The other concept my team and I use when it comes to planning and executing on our ideas is agile project management. Each strategic initiative we have is broken down into two week sprints, which are like mini projects. So with the podcast example, the first two week sprint might consist of researching similar podcasts and their formats, finding out what the minimum technology or software requirements are for it, and creating a one page document that outlines the show, who is it for, how often it will be produced, etc. The benefit of working in two week sprints is that it provides a great deal of focus for the tactical work, while at the same time having a strong link to the higher strategic goals and objectives. If strategy is at the 30,000, 20,000 foot level, then 90 day, cycle, day cycles operate more at the 10,000 foot level and sprints, they're really on the runway. Every day, myself and my small team have a short 15 minute meeting where each member of the team gives an update on their progress on the sprint, including saying what they did yesterday, what, is, what they're working on today and what is holding them back. I also make sure I schedule in time on my calendar to work on the various activities that have been tasked to me in that next two week sprint. I just found that if it isn't on my calendar, it's just not gonna get done. So that's an overview of how I plan my year. It starts with the mission, vision, and values and strategy, then progress uh, to the strategic initiatives and measuring those. And then that finally informs my 90 day cycles, my two week sprints and my daily actions. The value I find in doing this planning is not so much in the final plan itself as part of that change over time. No, instead what is really powerful about this process is what that it makes you reflect deeply on, on what you do, you know, why you're doing it, what you're doing with your life and how you're going to achieve your goals. I'd love if you left me a comment on how you plan your year if you go to jamestaylor.me. Thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that video? If so, there's three things that you can do so we can continue the journey together. The first is to click on the button to subscribe to this channel to get more amazing creativity videos like this. The second is you can get my free book on creativity by just clicking on the image here. And the third thing you can do is watch other videos in this series. Thanks for watching.